it is uh, uh, January 2nd. I'm out here on the Powder River and uh, got up early this morning, drove down uh, for kind of my traditional first half day on the Powder and uh, just up here with Roxy. This year, uh, after the next surgery, I have a new system. I'm going with trekking poles and uh, the addition is recommended by Mike Monahan, who uses this, uh, has used this for a few years, is this uh, Kafaru gun bearer. I was a little skeptical at the, uh, you know, about using something like this, but it's actually uh, very, very slick. You can see, got something attached to my uh, tactical belt. This is the for the butt stock rest. And then you've got this quick uh, release that goes up into your shoulder rest, and it's it's as steady as can be. And I'll tell you what. When I've had to put the poles down for some quail we got into, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty unsteady yet. Most of that is uh, I've got a kind of a sensory deficit feedback, so I can't react quickly as the legs kind of go. And, uh, and then weakness on one side. So you're weak on one side, you can't react on the other. And to boot, you're just a little bit, uh, you feel like you have two halves of your body. So the system is... It's nice when the dog is on point. You got this latch, and basically you kind of walk up, you hit this, and kind of release, and you're ready to go. So uh, overall, I may stick with this for future trips as I'm getting older, and uh, put it back in. Just get it right back in here and uh, cinch it down, and then off you go. It doesn't really get in your way. And uh, so I'm, uh, I'm definitely a believer. Uh, Roxy's eager to get going. We got uh, three quail this morning and uh, only four shots. So the uh, definitely the sporting clay course thus far has helped. And, uh, and we're trying to find the chuckers now. So we're going to just do a massive loop around and see if we can get back to the car before dark. So we're out of here. Some of the kind of terrain looking steep down and car is back that way.